Hello everyone, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of Ask Gary. And during this challenging time, I know there are lots of questions out there, and I appreciate the opportunity to address some of the most common ones that I'm getting. So with that, we'll jump right in. Well, that's a question that I just don't know the answer to. So all we can do at this point is plan for a variety of scenarios. Uh, we need to be prepared for a very prolonged, sluggish uh, travel environment. And that's where having plenty of cash, low debt, a low cost structure, a low fare brand uh, becomes so important. And we're just going to have to learn patience uh, if that uh, turns out to be the case. Um, on the other hand, uh, if there is a sharp rebound in travel, um, we're not downsizing the airline. We're, we, we're, we, we will probably retire some of our older aircraft uh, as we had planned to do uh, this year anyway. Uh, but uh, we don't want to furlough employees. We don't want to ground airplanes. We don't want to close cities. All of that depends on tr uh, passengers and uh, air travel returning. I don't think air travel will snap right back to where it was here this year. Um, maybe it will come back next year. If this is a real recession and a, and a, and a bad recession, it could take four or five years. That has been our experience in the 90s, in 2001, and certainly with the Great uh, Recession in 2008. So we just have to lean on the strength which has served us uh, so well all these decades at Southwest, which is we've got to not just be prepared, we've got to stay prepared. Uh, so there's a lot of planning underway uh, where we can pursue um, a business plan in any of those scenarios where we have a very sluggish recovery, where we have a rapid recovery, and where we have a pro uh, elongated uh, and a prolonged uh, recession. And we're just going to do the best we can um, to perform the best we can uh, in any of those uh, scenarios.